Hey guys, welcome to the homestead and to our dining room again. Today we're going to be working in the center of the dining room, kind of the middle of the house. The plan for today is to finish pulling up the rest of the old sticky tiles and to start replacing the next section of three quarter inch OSB flooring to continue putting the new floor down. Yesterday, while we happened to be working on the kitchen a little bit, Sam's brother came over and tried to pull up a little bit of tile with us. And he had a genius idea. He said if we could get our clothing iron and parchment paper, it would heat up the glue of the stick em down tiles enough that we could pull them up a lot easier. And I have to say, it's pretty genius. It works really well. So I put the temperature setting on as high as it would go on the iron and gave it time to heat up. And believe it or not, this is a lot quicker than it went before. I'd say that's a winner. We're out of the outdoor kitchen now, and Angela is cutting the 2x4s to become the blocking for the floor framing. Yes, she knows how to use that tool. I taught her. The hardest part of this job is done, and I am super, super glad. <laughs> it's never easy getting down on the floor and doing all that blocking, especially trying to fit the piece back here on the living room wall. I had to get pretty creative, and if I say so myself, my idea actually worked pretty good. I've never tried pre-assembling the pieces like that before. So, I got lucky. All right, well, now it's time to cut insulation and put it down in between the floor joists. And we had a couple of comments on our last video about insulating and not including our water lines with the insulation. 
We live in the southern part of the U.S. and we don't have extremely cold winters. In addition, we have an insulated crawl space. Our underpinning of the house, I guess it's called underpinning, is two and a half inch thick closed cell foam sandwiched between fiberglass panels. We um, have already done our bathroom and we did the same kind of insulating steps and we've not had any problems with freezing or issues back there at the end of the house. So we're not too concerned with this part of the house. That being said, just because we're doing it this way, don't think or assume or just take it for granted that you can do that same thing on your place if you're doing a renovation. Do what you're comfortable with because it'll be you doing or paying for the water line repairs. All right, let's get insulating and get this thing done. We'll be very careful otherwise we'll break the tongue off the edge. Okay, let's Put them the same with my foot. Okay. <laughs> All right, so now we need to get the tongue lined up in that groove. It's in. So one other thing about the floor, if you notice, we staggered the joints or the ends of each plywood OSB board. You're supposed to do that. You're supposed to do it by half a sheet, but we didn't really want to waste the only sheet we had here at the house, so we did it a couple of feet off from the ends. Not perfect, but still better than not staggering at all. Well, that's it for that piece. <laughs> another day, another sheet of OSB down. Looks like we got, what, one? Maybe one, two to three. One and a, wow, that got high really quickly. I was There's counting one, one and a half. One here, one here. Oh, okay, I meant to make it to the wall. Oh, okay. So one and a half to make it to the wall, but two or three to finish the dining room. This went faster. I think we're getting the hang it of did. it. Definitely helps when at wherever they patch the floor with plywood and you can just pull it up and not have to worry about all the particle board with all the mm -hmm. staples going through it. It goes mm -hmm. a lot quicker. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. <laughs> it didn't make a big difference, which I think the rest of the floor to the wall, the windows is plywood. There's a small part, particle board, bard. I'm always wrong on some level, but the secret, <laughs> any of you guys watching, is to just deal with it. Just know you're gonna be wrong. Embrace the wrongness, and it'll be all right. <laughs> Thanks guys for watching with us. Hope you'll tune in next time. See ya. Bye. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> See, I'm like a motivational poster. Yes, you can live with Pretty dirt. Surprise, surprise. <laughs> okay, I'll quit. <laughs>